In this video, I'm going to help you understand how Copilot Studio uses knowledge and the importance of indexing in that whole process. So I think the first place to start is let's just talk about how a rag pattern works in general. And if you don't know what a rag pattern is, it's basically how a chat GPT or knowledge inside of Copilot Studio works. It basically you have your users. They're going to reach out to your Copilot Studio Copilot that you've built. That Copilot is then, if it's configured to have knowledge, specifically we're going to talk about um, public websites specifically today, what it would happen is it would reach out to Bing and the Bing Prometheus engine. Now, Bing should have already indexed the website or the content that you're trying to go to. Now, it could be that you're not using Bing. It could be anything else. The key part is when you're pointing this at knowledge or you're pointing it at content, it really becomes important because of the fact that this is where we're going to search and go get the content. So depending on the content, such as a website and the indexing quality you have on that website or on your content, it will vary what the search provider will return back. And in this case, Bing. Now, once Bing returns back to the copilot, the information, that information is then provided back over to a Azure OpenAI implementation. And that Azure OpenAI implementation is not just provided the content, but it's also provided what we call the prompts or the conversational context of what's going on. So it's not just what is the question you asked, but it's also including things like the last 10 turns and a summary of what you're saying, plus all the instruction sets on how it should respond. Now, once that is done, you get a summary back from the OpenAI implementation. You go through Copilot Studio, goes through all this different moderation uh, steps just to make sure that it's safe to reply. And then it replies back to the actual user. So now that we understand how the RAG pattern works, Let's explore the impact of indexing quality and what happens when we have better or worse indexing results on our website. Our, and keep in mind, it's not just limited to websites here. So if we start talking about why do you see that a file is responded to better in one storage location versus another storage location, it has to do with the indexing quality. And we're gonna take a look at this and understand it a lot more to be able to understand how you can go about looking at this. And I'm gonna show you some troubleshooting ways for your specific website that'll help you understand how you might be able to address and improve the quality by inc actually improving your content and the way that your content is indexed by uh, the system where you're storing it. So we'll start with this Copilot Studio blank Copilot implementation. A couple of key things to call out here. I've basically disabled the model knowledge on this particular one. Now, one of the easiest ways for me to be able to demonstrate this is to be able to focus down to specific web pages and web page searches versus just pointing at anything. Now, the easiest way to be able to do that in Copilot Studio is that if I go into topics and I go to the system topic and I go to conversational boosting, you'll see here is the create generative answers. And what I want to do is go into editing this and we'll look down into classic data. And notice that I changed it to Bing Custom Search. Now this is because Bing Custom Search will let me focus it in on just specific websites that I want and, and specific web pages that I want. And so I wanted to showcase a couple of different websites, but I didn't want to put the whole website or things of that nature uh, into it. So let's take a look at the actual Bing custom search configuration that we're going to be working with today. Okay, so this is Bing custom searches configuration interface. And in it, you can see that I've actually put in a couple of different things. I've put in the National Park Service uh, FAQ location. I've got uh, one of my favorite hotels in Vegas, the Aria. I've got a uh, FAQ location on their website here. And then, I, and then I really like the new Amira, which is a new car from Lotus. So um, if you guys follow my channel too much, you'll see that I'm kind of a car nut. So needless to say, you'll see here that I wanted to get the specifications website 
for the Amira and add it in as well. So, and if you notice here, I've said don't include the subpages. And by doing that, I've locked it down to these are the only three pages and it's only what Bing has indexed from these pages that will actually be returned as the search results. And if you're curious about this, once you get this in, you basically hit this publish button and what will happen is you will get a production uh, configuration code right here. Now that co configuration code is something that you take and you go and you put it into the configuration in Copilot Studio. So let's go back to Copilot Studio for a second. So we're back inside of Copilot Studio and you can see this configuration is what I've put in here. So now at this point, we are in a situation where we have only limited Copilot Studio to being able to respond with what Bing has indexed for those three web pages, and that is it. Uh, know that when turning that model knowledge off, that was a key component. So if you don't flip off this switch, you're gonna be using model knowledge too. So this will not be effective if you, if you do this. Now, let's go take a look at these websites really quick. We'll start with the first one, which is the frequently asked questions that we have on the National Park Service. Uh, I like to go visit parks, and especially if you're driving, it's really kind of a cool thing to go do. And you can see here that the National Park Service has an FAQ location. It's got, it's just kind of a simple page. It's got text, uh, some links, and things of that nature. And what you're gonna see is that this will respond in a certain way. But I'm also gonna show you that visual elements don't give it away on if this is a really good page to be indexed or not. So let's go to the next one. Let's look at the ARIA. And you'll see here that the ARIA has these expanding uh, FAQs that are in here. And, and you'll even see like an example is how to get uh, to the ARIA from the airport and things of that nature. Now. I want to jump to another example, and this is the Lotus, the Lotus website. And so in the Lotus website for the Amira, this is the features and specs for the Amira. But notice that inside of this, we've also got some expanding content and things of that nature. Now, some of this content is, is going to be um, not expandable, and some of it is. So you've kind of got a mixture of content on this page. You can see some other things down here that are in, involved. And you can even see down here some additional info. So now let's do a quick run through at the quality of each of these websites and how they perform. So let's jump back to Copilot Studio. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the test site here. And I'm going to start with the national park system. And I'm going to ask the question for the national park system that how old is the national park system? Now, what you'll see is it's gonna come back and it's gonna to respond to this and it answers the question pretty effectively. Matter of fact, if we go look at this and we say, uh, how old is the national park system right here? It pulled this and it pulled it perfectly well. Now, one of the things about the page here that I'm going to show you is you can come into the page source and you can look at these and you can even do a line wrap if you need to up here. And you'll see that there's gonna be a lot of content here and you can see it's basically stored in like a table and things of this nature. So and if you don't know how to read HTML, don't worry about this, it's not as important. I'm gonna show you a different way to be able to figure this out. However, I wanted to show people that, that are aware of this that you can see like how old is it is basically in a format where it's like a header and answers in paragraph uh, text. So for Bing, this is really easy for you to go index. So, and by the way, what I'm talking about isn't unique to Bing. It's also the same in Google. So all web search engines work this way. So in general, if we look at this, we've got a pretty good page here that should have responded well, and it did. So now let's move back over to Copilot Studio and let's explore a different scenario. And in this scenario, what I'm gonna do is let's do the Aria Hotel. I really like the Aria. So let's go and say the question we said before. We saw this on the website. How do I get 
from the airport to the ARIA. And when I ask this question, we're going to get something interesting. I'm going to get something weird that comes back on this. And sometimes what you'll see is that if I ask that question again, sometimes it won't even answer this question for me. And you'll see here, it's just telling you to contact the ARIA. But wait a minute, why is it telling me to contact the ARIA? When right here, it says exactly how to do this. And then you, you kind of have to look at it and go, okay, we have a generative AI model. It wants to answer your question. And we do check it to try to see if, if it's saying something it shouldn't say or something really out, out of whack as part of, uh, of the model implementation and the RAG pattern. But that's really not the answer to the question. Now let's figure out why. Let's look at the source on this one and see, is there something different going on? And notice, first of all, that all of a sudden, if I don't line wrap, it doesn't go anywhere. Now let's look at the web page itself and look, all of this information on this page is all in JavaScript. That information isn't indexable by Bing or even by Google because of the fact that it's in JavaScript. It's not like text on the actual page. So that's why we get this scenario where it's not able to answer the question. So now let's look at a different scenario. Let's, let's jump over to Copilot Studio again, and let's talk about this Emira. Um, and again, really, I actually test drove one of these. They're amazing cars, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and say, does the Emira offer Apple CarPlay? Notice it says it doesn't mention CarPlay on the site. But let's look at the site. Does it mention CarPlay? It actually says it right here. The Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available in this vehicle. But we also can ask other questions just to show you an example of what I mean by this. So I'm also going to ask it a question like this. What, uh, what paint colors does the Amira First Edition offer? And notice I got, there's no information for this. So let's go back and look at this. Is there information? There's absolutely information on this website for the Amira First Edition. The paint colors is right here. So now if we go into this page and let's inspect this page, let's take a look at it. And again, we'll turn on our line wrap. And what you're going to see is that if we look this through, we really don't see a lot of this content. And you see this JavaScript kick in again. Now, a lot of people use JavaScript to be able to make like more visually appealing things on their website. And some people use it just in general for, for different reasons. But when the site looks like this and their content is structured like this, your issue is that both Bing and Google cannot index it uh, because it doesn't index this type of content. Now, could you reach out to Bing or Google and see if they could go index that? Yeah, potentially, but keep in mind that what you're trying to do as a co-pilot author and as you're selecting knowledge, you need to come up with a way to be able to see, does my content, is it being indexed, is it not being indexed? So I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to be able to pull that off. So we'll come back over here to our configuration that we had before, and I'll switch back over so that I can just get these URLs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this URL right here, which is the park service URL. Now, the trick is that you're going to need to go to Bing. And you can do this same thing. I'll show you the same thing on Google. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say URL colon. I'm going to put the actual URL in. And then I'm going to say uh, the question that I asked before. And so I'm just going to copy that over here for you to see. And I'm going to ask this question. Now, when you format the query like this inside of Bing, you're saying, only in this URL do I want you to answer this question. And when I do this, what's going to happen is it's going to come back with some results. And it did come back with results. 
Now, be aware there's smart answers and stuff like this that Bing does and Google does. What you're looking for is the actual response from the query. And notice that we get the response. There's no ads and sometimes there'll be ads and stuff. Make, make sure you pay attention to the fact that you can see here, it got the answer to the question. It knew this is the location and it is here. Now, let's go back and let's do a different one. Let's go back and grab the URL for, let's say the URL for the ARIA here. So I'm gonna come back in to Bing and here, just to make it easier for you guys to see, I'll just go to the main page for Bing. We'll do our URL colon, we'll put in the page, and then we'll ask the question that we asked before, which is, how do I get to the air, uh, how do I get from the airport to the ARIA? Now, when I do this and I hit enter, I don't get a real result here. It's not really coming back with a real result. And so when you hit this and you can see that it's basically coming back and saying, I don't really have that. And so it, Bing's trying to help me here, um, but it's not really able to get the answer to the question. Now, if we do the same thing, let's switch over to Google. So now I'm at Google and let's do the Amira. In the case of Google, you type site colon, and then you put your website. And then I can come in and say the question to it. Now, keep in mind these search engines are built to answer these questions for you. But you can see here, no answer. And if I went back and grabbed the URL for the ARIA inside of, and we put this inside of Google. So let's just go back and let's do site colon. And let's ask the question about the ARIA here against Google. You're going to see that Google's trying to answer this question, but you really don't have this information coming back in properly. You can see the difference in the, in the way it's answering versus if you just said, ask this question to Google normally, you would get a much better higher fidelity question. So again, as you can see, the index quality of the page is affecting the way that it's responding. And sometimes you'll get a response out of Copilot Studio. Just like we got responses here, you can see we got some responses, but are those responses accurate? It really comes down to the indexing quality of the page. So I encourage you to take a look at this and really understand the indexing quality that you run into because this is a key reason why most people have issues when they're working with Copilot Studio and Knowledge is they need to understand that indexing quality has a direct impact on the quality of the response. It's why you will see when you upload a PDF file to Copilot Studio directly as a file and it stores it in Dataverse and it then indexes it, vectorizes it, and chunks it, you get a much higher quality response than if you take a PDF file that's in SharePoint right now, because currently SharePoint is using the graph, which does not vectorize or, or chunk the file. It just indexes the file. And so there's a very big difference in the quality of the response. It's not that it won't use it and it won't respond. It's just the fidelity of the response and the quality is very different. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and always you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more videos about Copilot Studio. Also, you can go try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.